the next steps for Panamanian ballplayers and how, you know, today the opportunities are just there to play more ball for young yeah. Panamanian baseball players and how much of a difference that really makes. And we had some breaking news too. He said, look, if this team gets to the Royal Baseball Classic in March, he will be on that coaching staff. Imagine being a young player having a guy like Carlos Lee to look up to, start asking questions about hitting. First pitch swing and a foul ball from Jose Ramos, who was the hero so far in this one for Panama. Came through with a two-run homer in the bottom of the fourth inning with Carlos Lee sitting right between us. Carlos Lee was, he was in it every pitch and still is from his seat tonight as the 0-1 is fouled back. Let's take a look back at the fourth inning and that big shot from Jose Ramos, the center fielder. Yeah, and this is a 3-2 count. You can see nothing but breaking ball, breaking ball. And all of a sudden, he tried to challenge, Rienzo tried to challenge Jose Ramos with that fastball up in the zone. Paid for it. As Carlos Lee said, should have stuck with a breaking ball because Jose Ramos did not miss the fastball. His second home run of the qualifier. He is now three for five with four RBIs and three runs scored. See that billboard right behind Jose Ramos. Did he pay for that? Super 99, is that him? Flying <laughs> <laughs> around in a couple of hops this short. And the leadoff man is retired. That's the kind of stuff I do when I'm playing back in Australia. <laughs> my billboard. I actually, I've been getting targeted ads for Super 99 on Twitter promoting the World Baseball Classic qualifiers. I thought, there is ever a person in this country you don't need to be promoting this to right now. It's probably, probably my Twitter feed. <laughs> I'm already bought in. Don't worry, Super 99. Got to bring up Jose Caballero. Caballero 0 for 2. He struck out to end the fourth. After Ramos's home run, he also flew out to right field back in the second inning. Shows bunt, takes it back, and takes strike one along with it. Yeah, you look at this game, the scoring obviously one side of three nothing for Panama, but for Brazilian pitching, first of all, we talked about Rienzi, that one mistake, really that one mistake, when you're talking about that home run you gave up in a crucial moment. 3-2 can't decide to challenge him. You know what? You'll regret that for a while. Might lose some sleep over it. But the pitching so thus far for Brazil has been really good. We've talked about this team throwing a ton of strikes. You think about it too. This young man coming in was in a 3-0 count with loaded bases. Let's not forget. He was able to come back and get that lazy fly ball. One thing to keep in mind, you are a... Brazil baseball fan if you were somebody tuned in from Brazil one two pitch lifted foul down the right field line that'll fall just in front of the tarp good pursuit over there by Christian Lopes you lose tonight you're not done Nicaragua awaits the loser of this game tomorrow for another do or die play in game for the 2023 World Baseball Classic that game, 7 o'clock first pitch. Ryan and I will be on the call for our 18th and final game of 18 in Germany here in Panama. And Nicaragua is going to have their hands full with either Brazil or Panama. That is for sure. They're watching right now. They're thinking to themselves, man, it's going to be tough tomorrow. Here comes the 1-2. In the air to left. Tim Lopes over to play it. Two go. And... Not only are they going to have their hands full, but vice versa. I mean, that either way, that stacks up as a good matchup for yeah. tomorrow. Nicaragua, we've just kind of been waiting for that team to bust out, and they did get a good offensive performance against Pakistan, but today, just a 6-5 win over Argentina. They had to fight and scrap and claw all the way through that one to hold on for a one-run lead, a one-run win. Yeah, and you think about it, too, I mean, put up some big run totals, but just not that, that big hit. Not that big double. We saw you know, a couple, a little bit of that today. But again, when you look at that lineup, you were thinking to yourself, man, they're going to bust out any moment. They're able to scratch and claw, like you said, Tyler, and tomorrow is going to be a blast, just like tonight has been so much fun. No balls and a strike on Luis Castillo. First at bat of the night for Castillo, who came on as a defensive replacement in the top of this inning. 
for the starter, Rodrigo Orozco. We also owe a word of congratulations to Argentina for the run they made to game number seven of this World Baseball Classic qualifier, a team that we really didn't know what to expect from Argentina, their first ever qualifier appearance, and they were so much fun to watch, so disciplined, a patient team, a very mature team. For Rolando Arnetto, the manager, Rafael Salinas, the president of the Argentine Baseball Federation, they have so much to be proud of and so much to be excited about for the next step for Argentinian baseball. And they just missed moving on to play tomorrow for a trip to the World Baseball Classic with that one run loss today. And they were really impressive over their time here in Panama City. One, two, that's laced out to left field. Lopes has this one in his sights and that retires the side. First time since the third, the Panama has gone down in order.